make sure you're using oils with your food. Uh, oils are also highly electrical, especially essential fatty acid oils. The one downside on oils is you've got to make sure they're fresh and they're cold and they're kept in a dark place because oils are very unstable. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. We'll continue talking about the electrical nature of the body and the electrical nature of supplements tomorrow. And I will tell you about another way to amp up electrical energy. I'll also tell you about another great supplement that we've talked about a lot on this program, but I didn't tell you that one of the reasons this stuff is so important is because it is super electrical. It's a, I'll give you a little hint, it's a uh, component of cell membranes. No, it's not essential fatty acids, which are components of cell membranes. And no, it's not cholesterol, which is also a component of cell membranes. This is another very important, uh, very important component of cell membranes that you can buy as a really cheap nutritional supplement. And we have talked about it before, although I never said that uh, one of the reasons it's so important is because of its electrical properties. But we'll tell you what that is tomorrow on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones. Let's uh, go off to Ohio and welcome Linda to the Bright Side. What's going on, Linda? Hi. I have a friend uh, that has lymphedema. He okay. fell from a roof when he was uh, um, repairing it and he landed on his feet. And uh, he didn't really get treated a lot for that. And so, right I mean, he now, fell. Hang on a second, like, Linda. Linda, did he, I hear you right? He land. He fell from a roof and landed on his feet. Yes, it was a lower roof. It wasn't a high roof. But okay. Still, he landed on his feet. Okay. So from then on, his legs went downhill. And uh, right now, his legs are so swollen, they're purple. He can't stand for anything to touch him. Oh, gosh. And uh, he's 42 years old. The doctor, he just saw a doctor yesterday, put him on prednisone and Vicodin. And uh, I said, oh, boy. So anyway, I would appreciate any. Well, here's the deal. Lymphedema, I'm not sure. Are you connecting the lymphedema up to the fall from the roof? Uh, he, he said that the doctors have said well, he can't damage some lymph nodes in his leg. Well, okay, and that's need to have them a surgery. Yeah, right, right. That's what they like to do. They like to do the yeah. surgery. No. Oh, my God. All right, here's the deal. When you, If he has some kind of mechanical trauma, then that's a little bit different than a degenerative breakdown. But I would be look, I would be thinking if this guy's 42 years old and he's uh, subsisting on the standard American diet and he's living the standard American lifestyle, that his lymphedema is not being caused by a fall from a roof, that it's being caused by toxicity in the blood or toxicity in the body. Here's the deal. Lymphedema means lymphatic fluid is leaking out and it's causing swelling. It's causing, uh, edema always means it's just a fancy way of saying fluid is leaking out and it's causing swelling. Lymphedema is lymphatic fluid that's leaking out and causing swelling. Whenever you have leaky fluids in the body, assuming that it's not some kind of mechanical trauma, which it sounds, which is, I suppose it's possible, but assuming it's not a mechanical trauma, when fluids leak out, this is a classic sign of an activated defense system. And it doesn't matter where the fluids are leaking out. They could be leaking out in the in the uh, bottom, uh, they could be leaking out in the bottom part of the body. They could be leaking out in the face, causing f- uh, a swelling in the face. They could be leaking out anywhere. You want to think about activated immune system, and you want to think about a, a poor, circula- uh, poor circulation. Fluids are not moving correctly, and then that is also related to toxicity in the body. So, a couple of things you want to do for any edematous condition, any kind of edema, any kind of leaky fluids. Number one, always, first and foremost, focus on toxicity that's getting into the body through the digestive system. That means patching up any issues with leaky gut syndrome, and that means eliminating problem foods. Eliminating problem foods is always the first step in the healing process. It's so important, folks. I know I, you guys are probably getting sick of hearing me say this, but this is so important. The first step in the healing process is always going to be eliminating problem foods, especially if there's edema going on. Uh, so uh, to eliminate problem foods, you first got to find out what those problem foods are, uh, do a food diary, write down everything you eat, write down digestive symptoms, link digestive symptoms, have your friend link digestive symptoms to specific foods and eliminate those foods. Then there's one Wonderful supplements for patching up leaky gut syndrome. You understand how we're working here, ma'am? First step is to eliminate anything that's getting into the body to keep the fluids from leaking out of the lymph. Uh, so uh, eliminating problem foods, using glutamine is a wonderful nutritional supplement for leaky gut syndrome. Zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day, can help with leaky gut syndrome. The Z radical from Longevity may be helpful for uh, leaky gut syndrome. Essential fatty acids can be helpful for dealing with leaky gut syndrome. And probiotics are all 
always a must-have for any digestive health issues for everybody, should be on a good probiotic supplement. Then he wants to make sure that he's moving the lymphatic, that the lymphatic fluid is moving around effectively. Lymph does not have a pump. Blood has a pump. Lymph does, lymph does not have a pump. So as lymphatic fluid is circulating around the body, it's making a big circle around the body, basically, it needs to have some kind of movement, physical movement, to push that fluid along. The heart doesn't need physical, or the blood doesn't need physical movement to push the blood along because the heart can pump that blood. But lymph doesn't have a pump. We're the pump. Our muscles are the pump. For any lymph edema condition, people. Number one, uh, problem foods, but number two, move your body. Get a rebounder. Do brisk walks. Do some kind of uh, physical movement. Uh, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Get on an exercise bike. Anything you could do to move the lymphatic fluid around is going to help reduce the edematous condition. Now, if there is mechanical, if there is mechanical damage in there, nutritional supplementation is not going to uh, help. It's not going to help as much. It's going to have to patch that mechanical damage up and Anytime there's mechanical damage in the body, the first thing you want to think about is more protein as well as trace and accessory nutrients like vitamin C and the B complex. I'd be using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, getting on a good whey protein supplement, using egg protein. Uh, if you can't do whey and egg, hemp seed protein is also an option. And then protein being a little bit tricky for the body to process requires a good, healthy operating digestive system to maximize absorption and assimilation of the protein. And that would mean things like apple cider vinegar and digestive enzymes. And by the way, digestive enzymes can also have a wonderful fluid thinning effect if there's clogging, especially in the, in the blood. Uh, we've talked about that a little bit in the past, but uh, not, not as much as we probably should. Uh, digestive enzymes have a wonderful blood thinning effect and can help fluids keep fluids moving around as they should. Hang tight. There's a couple more things I want to tell you, Linda. And uh, Ralph, Dan, Mike, Steve, we'll try to get to all you guys here. Uh, 855-660-4261 is our number. Got one line open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. There's a guy named Dr. Wallach who is anything but your typical doctor. Both a veterinarian and a naturopathic physician, Doc asks, why is this country spending more money on health care by far and ranking 50th in health and longevity worldwide? Doc believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, taking charge of their life, and obtaining optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic pharmaceutical drugs that lead to side effects that require more expensive and toxic pharmaceutical drugs. Talk about being dependent on drug companies to our own destruction, no less. This is clearly a deadly recipe. Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the government and big pharma manipulation of our health and health care system. I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care, and I've joined forces with him to help this tireless crusader spread his message. Visit BrightSideBen.com and listen to Doc Wallach's deadly recipe lectures. It makes a lot of sense, and I invite you to join our Brightside Ben team. Go to BrightSideBen.com. That's www.BrightSideBen.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Did you know that drinking pure, high alkaline water is one of the most important factors in maintaining high energy and vibrant health? Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops, available only at AlkaVision.com, combine a unique formula of only the most alkaline minerals. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops alkalize your water, ridding the body of harmful toxins, and helps you regain health and energy. Alkalizing your water by simply adding 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps 
helps the body rid itself of acidic waste, increases oxygen content, and raises the pH of your body to healthy levels. And bacteria and viruses cannot survive in an alkaline high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops for only $29.95 at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. By now you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins. But did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your products and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right, we're back on the right side. Talking to Linda in Ohio. Linda, are you there? Yes. All right, so uh, lymphedema is basically fluid retention and fluid leaking and uh, fluid retention in tissues and fluid leaking out of uh, the lymphatic system, basically a compromised lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is a circulatory system for both fatty nutrients and toxins. Both fatty vitamins, essential fatty acids, fatty hormones, as well as toxins travel through the lymph. The more toxicity that's getting into the body, the more likely the lymph is to be clogged up and the more likely you are to deal with things like lymphedema and unfortunately the more likely you are to deal with nutritional deficiencies because the lymph is carrying both vitamins and uh, fatty substances, fatty nutritional substances, fatty hormones as well as toxicity. So keeping that lymphatic fluid moving around is extremely important. In addition to uh, some of the things we just talked about, moving the body around and patching up the digestive system, you want to make sure that he's getting fatty nutrients in abundance and that is through supplements because he's going to have some compromise in the delivery of these fatty substances. One of the most important is vitamin E. And I'd be using 400 international units of vitamin E, which, by the way, can also have a wonderful blood thinning effect. We're going to be talking about that one in a couple of days. Uh, Vitamin K can be helpful, especially if there's bruising from his fall. You want to use about uh, uh, 5,000 or so micrograms of vitamin K. I like vitamin K, too. Vitamin A is ridiculously important for the healing process and super important for bone health. It's important for all kinds of stuff, important for eye health important for the immune system and with lymphedema he may have some compromise in his ability to get vitamin a delivered to tissues i'd be using 20,000 international units of vitamin a as well and then vitamin c even though it's not a fat soluble vitamin is always important for the healing process Uh, around a a thousand to two thousand even up to five thousand milligrams of vitamin c a day might be a good idea get them on the beyond tangy tangerine get them on the ultimate essential fatty acids efas are also going to be important for people who are dealing with lymphatic issues as well. Uh, And good luck with everything. I hope that works out for your friend. Thanks so much for calling. Linda from Ohio. All right, moving on. Uh, Ralph in Maryland. What's going on, Ralph? How are you doing, uh, Ben? Doing good. Uh, I'm calling about a couple. Um, They just started on the uh, Healthy Start Pack. Um, The husband has Alzheimer's. And the wife has uh, been complaining about cramps after uh, taking the uh, BTT. Okay. That's not uncommon. Uh, Digestive problems after the BTT are unfortunately one of the more common things that I hear about, and that's usually because people are trying to take in too much nutrients all at once. The BTT is absolutely loaded with nutrition. If you have any problems with digestive enzymes, you're not making enzymes. If you've got bile problems, gallbladder problems, liver problems, small intestine problems, you may not absorb that beyond tangy tangerine as much uh, as well as you should. And then the minerals and the nutrients will pass through the small intestine. They'll go into the 
large intestine and they can wreak digestive havoc, causing uh, diarrhea, constipation, cramping. Don't blame the nutrition, people. Don't blame the BTT. It's not the BTT's fault and it's not nutritional supplements' fault if you're not absorbing. So what you want to do uh, if you're experiencing any digestive distress from the Beyond Tangy is you want to sip on it slowly. In fact, we should always be sipping on it slowly 